Last year, NFL quarterback Aaron Rodgers and Danica Patrick made one of the biggest splashes in the Malibu real estate market, dropping 28 mil on a mansion. With recent word that the power couple broke up, I wonder what's to come of this mega home. Being one of the wealthiest professional athletes out there, a multi-million dollar price tag on a home doesn't make a huge dent in Aaron's wallet. Besides the Malibu spot, he owns another estate in San Diego and more. We'll give you all the details on his homes, we even found some of the listings. Aaron Rodgers is an NFL football quarterback for Wisconsin. Wisconsin's Green Bay Packers. He started playing college football at California, and it seems these days he's found his way back to the West Coast, at least in terms of his living situation. He was selected in the first round of the 2005 NFL Draft by the Packers, and the rest was history. He's won many awards and titles over his football career and is the NFL's all-time regular season career passer rating leader and one of only two quarterbacks to have a regular season career passer rating of over 100. The other being Russell Wilson, who we also just did a house tour on, by the way, if you want to check that out. Many consider Aaron to be one of the best quarterbacks out there. For a few years, Aaron was dating former professional race car driver Danica Patrick. Like most couples do, the pair had pretty recently bought a new house together, except unlike most couples, their was a $28 million spot in Malibu. With the recent news of their split, you gotta wonder who's gonna get this place or if they'll sell it. With an estimated net worth of $120 million or more at the time of this recording, Rogers could keep that Malibu mansion if he wanted to. And if he decides to move out, he has a couple other luxury properties to crash at. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we've got another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. We'll take an in-depth look at where the star Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers calls home, like his mansions in Malibu, San Diego, and Wisconsin. If you like these videos, like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Russell Wilson and his wife Sierra and Conor McGregor, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Let's start by taking a look at where Aaron called home in Green Bay. This is where the NFL star used to call home in Suamico, Washington, which is a part of the Green Bay area, of course, perfect location-wise for the Green Bay quarterback. He bought the home way back in 2005 for only 442 k so under half a million surprisingly, and it spans 4,012 square feet inside. He put it on the market in 2017, which ruffled some feathers according to Packer News because there was panic he was leaving the Green Bay team, but he didn't. Apparently Aaron sold his longtime home to a couple in an off-market deal, but he still owns other property here. This home had four beds, three baths, gas fireplaces throughout, and was only 10 miles from Lambeau Fields and the Packers' adjacent practice fields. There was also a finished basement with a family room, bedroom, and home gym. It's a handsome, ranch-style home, and for someone of Aaron's stature, it was certainly humble. But it was a nice big house on almost an acre of land. The grand room on the main floor has wall-to-wall -wall windows which look out onto the property. It also has recessed ceilings and a fabulous fireplace for a country cabin vibe. The kitchen and dining rooms are massive. I mean, the kitchen has more cupboard space than one would even know what to do with. Definitely fit for a family. The dining room opens up to a room that's considered all seasons, which I guess means an indoor-outdoor room in which you can watch all the seasons change, since it is almost all glass. Of course, one of the other fireplaces is in there too, so you'll stay warm. Aaron had a master suite here with attached luxury bathroom offering a jetted jacuzzi tub, dual sinks, water closet, and mega glass shower. Although he's since stepped up his house game, I'm sure at the beginning of his career it felt pretty lavish. The property outside was also gorgeous, sitting against a small lake and a waterfowl preserve. In 2018, his ex Danica Patrick had a suggestion for the home. Since they were sharing the Green Bay house for some time and it was apparently decked out in dude stuff, she thought she could move her more personal things like a yoga mat, essential oils, etc. out of a windowless room into somewhere a little brighter. You know, to make herself a woman cave. Aaron reportedly shot the idea down and instead took her up on the idea of a greenhouse. So I wonder if that ever ended up happening here. Although Aaron's unloaded this place, it said he didn't live here full time anyways, and word is he owns another property in the area he lives in during football season. Aaron also owns a spot in Del Mar, his home state of California. Del Mar is a beach city in San Diego County, and according to records, he bought this off season getaway back in 2009 for just over 2 million. These days, the one acre property is worth much more. Inside, the home spans 5,771 square feet of space with four beds and five baths. Although Aaron's 
Prince Del Mar house is reminiscent of a reality TV serial dating mansion, he puts ABC to shame with his Spanish tile, glamorously high ceilings, and a gorgeous fountain you can overlook from the indoor balconies on either side of it. Above the balcony in his wood paneled vaulted ceiling hangs a palace worthy chandelier. The kitchen here is equipped with an island full of storage space and a state of the art modern wood chandelier. There's also an enormous stainless steel fridge and stacked ovens by the looks of it, as well as picture windows above the sink. The family room next to the kitchen offers a large stone fireplace and TV, and both these spaces lead to the patio and pool outside. There's an indoor outdoor vibe here thanks to all the French doors and floor to ceiling windows. Other perks of Aaron's Del Mar home include a billiards room with double height ceilings and a ton of windows, a home movie theater, office, a wine room, gym, and a sauna. Not to mention the highlights continue outside on the property with features like a tennis court, putting green, a basketball court, and more. Of course, the main attraction outside has got to be the massive pool and spa, and there's also an entertaining area with a toasty fireplace and great view. Not to mention Aaron's estate is located in a cozy little cul-de-sac for ultimate privacy. Last year, Aaron decided to add on to his California real estate. In November 2019, he and his then-girlfriend Danica Patrick shelled out a whopping $28 million in cash for a new home in Malibu. I mean, I know Miley Cyrus sings about the beauty of this place and it's no doubt gorgeous, but that's quite the price tag. Although the couple is said to have went half seas on the place, documents suggest the home may be solely owned by Rogers. The home may not seem massive or mansion size with an interior of 3,592 square feet, but has quite the famous history dating back to 2009. Janet Jackson had leased the home and sat down for her first interview here after her brother Michael's passing. Here in this starkly elegant beach house in Malibu, she spoke to us for the first time about loss, love, and what remains. Then in 2017, Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos paid over 19 million for the home, only to sell shortly after. And that's not all. The next buyer was none other than British pop star Robbie Williams, who paid over 20 million in 2018. He and his wife reportedly leased the home to Aaron and Danica before they ultimately bought it. Built in 1981, the Mediterranean villa style compound underwent a significant renovation and expansion in the mid 90s and got another full remodel since. The home only has three beds and three baths, but every square inch of the place is stylish and pristine. It's set on a bluff overlooking the ocean, and the beach below can be accessed via staircase or the property's own funicular. And I had to Google what that was. The setting makes for a priceless view of the Pacific Ocean, which I'm sure you've guessed by now. The two-structure Malibu compound has a three-story main home with an open floor plan. Walking in, there's contemporary decor for the most part, and mostly white interiors with floor-to-ceiling disappearing doors throughout, which give many rooms access to more balconies and decks. Generous modern windows let in even more light. There are cement floors in the high ceiling great room, which is comprised of a gourmet kitchen with grade A appliances and custom cabinets, a sitting area with fireplace, and a custom dining room built for the residents. Not to mention the disappearing doors here highlight the star of the room, the ocean view. Other amenities in Aaron's Malibu home include a media room, three guest bedrooms, and a minimalistic master suite with spa style bathroom and private ocean view deck. Not to mention a basement level of the home offers a games room and lounge. Outside, there are patios and decks, with one featuring built-in seating to lounge. There's also space for sunbathing next to the large sparkling pool and spa, and elsewhere, a private courtyard with olive trees. Finally, there's a detached combo guest house with two bedrooms and a garage that span an additional 1,198 square feet. It's a three-car garage though, so if that doesn't house enough exotic vehicles, there's also a spacious motor court. The gorgeous, uber-expensive Malibu estate is definitely something to brag about, and I'm positive something the couple was excited about, to say the least. But now since they're broken up, who gets the place? I guess we'll see if Aaron loves it too much to part with, or vice versa. And if neither he or Danica keep it, we'll be seeing it back on the market very shortly. So so get your wallets ready. All right, so that's all I got for the properties of famous Green Bay quarterback Aaron Rodgers, and I'm pretty sure you get the idea. The man's got some nice houses. But when you're getting a fat NFL paycheck like he is, he can afford a $28 million house purchase in cash. After looking at his places like his previous Green Bay home, his spot in Del Mar, and the Malibu compound, which was your fave? Be sure to let me know what you guys thought down in that comment section, as well as whose house tour you want to see next. Follow me on Instagram so we can chat. Be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.